So Chris Hemsworth, the same guy that plays Thor out at sea hunting a bunch of whales? Well, of course sign me up. I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So like I said, Chris Hemsworth is back in the heart of the sea. This film is directed by Ron Howard. He did that movie Rush that came out in 2013 about the 1970s Formula One racing. That movie was amazing. So when I heard that Ron Howard was attached to this, I got very excited. And the story of Moby Dick fascinates me. It has a great story, it has a great cast, and it has some great effects. Chris Hemsworth slimmed down a lot for this role, and he really is a leading man. He can do more than just Marvel comic films. And he put a lot into this role, and I really did appreciate seeing him on screen. And that's not the most interesting part of the film. What really intrigued me was the relationship between the characters on the boat while they're out to sea. I mean, they really have to trust each other. I mean, their lives are in danger. This is the 19th century in the 1820s. And if something goes wrong, you can't pull out a cell phone and call a helicopter or some big ship to come and save you. If something goes wrong, you're screwed. So you have to listen to each other. You have to trust in your captain. You have to trust in your first mate. You have to trust into everyone. And that was a really fascinating part of the film. Now, Chris Hemsworth and Benjamin Walker had some interesting scenes in the film. Chris Hemsworth is Owen Chase and Benjamin Walker is George Pollard. But while I was saying that the characters have to trust each other, they had some interesting dialogue going back and forth and just kind of shows how politics can ruin what's really important for the mission at hand. As far as the effects goes, they didn't blow me out of the water. Now I saw this film in 3D, you don't have to see it in 3D, but there were about two or three scenes to where an anchor was flying at the screen or a rope was being cut and it flew at the screen and you kind of ducked and dodged and that was kind of neat. But at the same time, the 3D didn't do much. So if you need to save your money, you can save it there. But the effects were great. I love seeing them out at sea. I love seeing the dolphins and the whales pop up and in and out of the water. And of course, I love Moby Dick. I mean, this whale was huge. It was like a giant monster. It's like he had a human mindset and he wasn't playing around. I mean, no, you're in his territory. Leave him alone. You're not just going to go out and see and hunt all of the big whales friends and just kill them and take them of the oil. No, he is not having that. He is there to defend his people. And it, it was a lot of fun. Now, I'm not trying to say that this movie was action packed. It wasn't. But that's not a bad thing. But what they did do with the action and them hunting whales and whatnot, it was very interesting. I had a lot of fun and I really did enjoy it. What was crazy about it is just when things go wrong, I mean, these guys were stranded out at sea for a long, long time and they were just going crazy. And I think the film did a great job of portraying that from when they were first stranded to where it ended up being a week to three weeks, to six weeks, to 90 days, to however long. You can really see that their body is eating out of them and they're going crazy and they're just doing everything they have to do to survive. I really did enjoy this film, guys. If I had to rate In the Heart of the Sea out of a one out of 10, I would give it an eight out of 10. So guys, have you seen it? Do you wanna see it? Have I turned you off? Have I turned you on? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, that's fine. Just let me know why in the comment section below and give me the thumbs up. Look at your bottom of your screen right now. You can head over to the website for more of my content. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. And share the video. I'm not going to get mad if you share the video. So again, guys, thank you for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.